All right, guys and girls, here's a pretty interesting video. By the way, this is Sean Lonkert, your host of the Midnight Highway Radio. You can always check us out at www.themidnighthighway.com. Now, take a look here. It says, Space junkies try to explain mysterious image and photo from Mars rover. Now, this is one of the reasons, guys, not only because it's history, but this is one of the reasons why I did record this whole event online through screen record, such as I'm doing right now, live. Okay, I'm going to read this article. You, you'll you probably be able to read it yourself, but I'm just going to go ahead and read it anyway. Uh, mysterious blotch that appeared along the horizon in a photo from the surface of Mars stirred speculation about what it might be as two hours later, it was gone. Hmm. That's interesting. Two hours later, it was gone. One image from Curiosity rover as it landed on the fourth planet from the sun showed a faint but distinctive image on the horizon. That's what the Los Angeles Times reported. However, a subsequent batch of images sent from the unmanned rover two hours later showed no trace of the blotch. Now you guys can see that photograph right there, a 3D view in front of NASA's Curiosity rover, which landed on Mars August 5th, 2012, is seen in this image. Now I'm Eastern Daylight Time and my birthday's August the 6th, so I like to believe that the rover landed on August the 6th. Technically it did. Alright, going on here in the article. One theory put forth by space enthusiasts in the LA Times story is that Curiosity had somehow snapped a photo of part of the spacecraft that escorted the rover through the Martian atmosphere crash landing a distance away. Hmm. Possible. But to capture that image would be an insane coincidence, one engineer told the newspaper. Others say more feasible possibilities would be simply dirt on the lens, or maybe dust devil, or a dust devil I should say, twisting in the far distance. Now I, I just want to go back up to that photo real quick. That's not a dust devil. There is no way that's a dust devil. And I, I'm going to try to get a better image of that and blow it up and look at it. Alright, going back down here. Uh, dust devil. Alright, there we go. But, as more images start to pour into NASA, more is being learned about the rover's point, or the rover's pinpoint landing. In what some are dubbing as the crime scene, photo of the landing zone taken by another satellite Curiosity is seen on the ground along with pieces of the spacecraft that broke apart as planned on the way to the surface. The photo reveals the heat shield that protected the rover as it entered the atmosphere, and the parachute that helped ease the vehicle onto Mars. Also seen are parts of the sky crane. Oh yeah, the sky crane, you all know that, how it lowered it down. The spacecraft that carried the rover to the planet, the article noted. Could the sky crane crashing be the blotch from another LA Times story? The crime scene photo showed the sky crane had crash landed as designed about 2,000 feet away and in the same direction that Curiosity's camera was pointed when it snapped the first photo showing the blotch. The new satellite photo also showed that the sky crane when it crash landed kicked up a violent wave of dirt that had carried or that had scarred the surface of Mars. Curiosity mission, or Curiosity mission manager Michael Watkins told the Times if it were the case it would be incredibly cool. A crazy sir... okay now I'm gonna sound stupid here. Serendipitous thing. Images from Mars have always fueled curiosity. Remember what folks thought was a huge face on Mars? An image from Viking 1 in 1976 that appeared to show a rock formation with eyes, a nose, and a mouth. Later, high resolution imaging and side by side analysis proved the face to be a Mesa or Mesa, 
like the flat-topped natural formations found in the southwestern U.S. As the Curiosity rover readies to begin the scientific discovery part of the mission, maybe more interesting things will be revealed. So that's the article right there, guys. Uh, I'm going to try to blow that photo up and, uh, and, and see what I can figure out about it. But what is your opinions? Is it dust? Is it a dust devil? What is it? All right, guys and girls, I got to uh, to watch the video or look at the photograph more. And when I was zooming in there, I don't know. It doesn't look like a dust devil to me, but I, I don't know how they would look on Mars. I really don't. I've never been there. Never will be there, sadly. I wish I could go to Mars. But uh, it, to me, it looks more like a... Uh, you remember when Neil Armstrong, the first man to land on the moon, when he jumped off, he looked real transparent? It almost kind of looks like that, almost like a ghostly image, um, it, it, which leads me to believe it could be dust. I don't know, but it it doesn't look like part of the spacecraft to me, but it, it definitely looks like there's something there on the surface, um, whether it be a rock or a, uh, it, you, you know, like a... I don't know, like a, a, a house or something. I, I don't know. I don't know. But they say two hours later it was gone. Now, one thing I'm kind of confused on, which would really help uh, manipulate here or really help construct my, uh, my true hypothesis is they said two hours later the image was gone. Now, is that two hours later the rover took the photograph of the same area and that object was no longer there? Or two hours later, the object was no longer there in the photograph. Um, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I, I really don't know. I'm not going to try to stir up all kinds of stuff. But it, it's definitely interesting. And it's uh, it's definitely piqued my curiosity. So uh, I would love to hear your guys' and girls' opinions about what you believe this photograph is showing. And it... <laughs> I, as much respect as I have for NASA and love them and they did an excellent job clap 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 for for doing what they did but uh sadly I believe that they will uh they'll find a way to where we won't be able to see anything interesting if, if it's up there I, I wish they want to do it like that but they probably will um if we got alien neighbors man I want to know about it <laughs> I think everybody else does too but anyways guys what, what, do, what do you think it is Dust Devil house, some kind of foundation, debris from the spacecraft. What is it, guys? Your thoughts.